So this is just a short intro video to talk about the two kinds of PSAT questions. So you've got uh, basically a five choice multiple choice question and you've got grid ends. So on the five choice multiple choice kind of questions, they, they really come in two kinds. Good old fashioned five choices where it's just A, B, C, D, and E. And then you also have those Roman numeral answer choices where you've got one, two, and three conditions. And then in your answers, you're supposed to choose what combination of one, two, and three might be always true or never true, something like that. So your answer choices are things like uh, one only, two only, one and two, one, two, and three, and so on. Okay. And now, uh, bear in mind that on a wrong answer on those multiple choice ones, they take away a quarter of a point. Okay, the other kind are grid ends. On grid ends, you don't have any choices. You have to do the math and then fill in the numbers and the little uh, dots below them. And notice that you can fill in fractions and you can fill in decimals. And it doesn't matter where you put your answer as long as it all fits in the four boxes that you have. Okay, and you can uh, round off fractions, but you can see that this uh, thing that's supposed to be 0.8 repeating, they'll take 0.888 and 0.89. It's, it doesn't matter, they'll take either one of those. Okay, and uh, also notice that you don't have any negative answer choices. It's just all positive numbers. So if you end up with a, a negative, you know you did it wrong. And then uh, finally, there's no... Uh, guessing penalty on these because there's thousands and thousands of possibilities and there's hardly any chance that you're going to be able to just simply guess and get it right.